Okay, hello there. This is a tutorial of how to make a perfume bottle. So this is the image on Google here. So we're gonna model this today. So we're gonna use free star modeling technique. So I'll start from scratch. Okay, so this file is in use. We gotta give it a different name. That's in use as well, number three. Okay, so when we start, I'm gonna give a a rough dimension size. So first, I'll create a sketch outline to give a a rough indication of the shape of the model. So I'll make that around 70. This one is about, let's say, 180. So this is this this will help me to give a good uh, outline for my work. Okay. So now I'm going to insert an Im the image onto the plane so we can model it within the views. So to do that you go to views, model dis display and click image and add an image and click the plane. So I'll save the image onto my computer. Okay so it's this perfume model here. Now I'm going to scale that and up. So just drag the corners and move. Okay, we'll make this front and adjust the picture. Okay, there you go. That looks good. So now we're going to start modeling. Okay, we're going to use a technique called freestyle. Okay, so. So this is how it works. You can transform the object, you can scale, you can extrude, you can adjust the edges, and all these techniques will let you model these in freestyle. So you can do this using a technique called revolve, but this technique is useful if you like to model organic objects and other things. So this tutorial will, is helpful for you to learn the technique so you can use so you can make many things like cars, mobile phone, organic bottles and things like that. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go through this quickly. Okay, so if I select this face and extrude it brings it forward. And just let make it simple. So I'll make this a bit bigger. So go scale. Extrude. Okay, extrude, and we bring that forward there. Alright, so let's bring front view forward. This one here will make a face split that will help to make give you a hard edge there. I'll show you a technique called edge split. So if you select an edge, click edge edge split and it will divide that section into two. Very useful you wanna keep more detail. So I'm I'd like to make it more 
scale it up more here and on the bottom we're going to use that technique again select the face face split so there you go so now we're going to make it more like the shape okay so let's bring this down So this other line needs to go in a bit more. Let's get a look. There you go, so we're gonna go show that view and see how it looks. Okay, maybe a bit more scale there. Okay, there you go. So this is a quick tutorial. Now I'm gonna go move ahead. I don't wanna worry about too much about the details, but for now I'm going to create the inside Okay, to do that we're going to go extrude it and move it inside. And bring this down. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, we'll go to this face split again and we'll change it to wireframe so we can work with the lines, bring that in, scale, extrude, Okay, so basically what I'm doing here, I want to maintain the control points to be similar to the other, to the previous one. So, just gonna go make that happen. So we're going to bring that down. To around there. And the scale seems to be right. Okay, this side. So I'm just going to quickly finish it there, 
Um, actually, I'll f render it first and see how it looks. There you go. Okay, so the top bit here, we need to make it flat. To edit again, you go edit, um, edit definition. Now we're going to click these edges and make it. Make it so. Oh, let's undo that. Okay, we're going to scale it in to make it not too sharp. So we we'll make it more like that. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what happens. All right. Okay, we'll make it more flat like that. And I'm gonna apply material quickly to make it transparent. This material seems to work well. So we'll select the part. And okay. Okay, something is wrong here. Actually, everything is fine. You press Ctrl D, that will bring it forward. And now we'll quickly render it. Okay, so to render, we'll pick a scene. Double click. And change the setting to high. And render. Okay, so it's going to quickly render that and we'll see how it looks and that's the first part, part of the tutorial. I'm going to make the next part with the lid on the top and that will complete our tutorial. So that's the technique for freestyle modeling. Free freestyle modeling is very flexible and um, adjust as you go modeling technique. So uh, so that's very useful for you to use Creo. That's that's a different technique that I found very useful. Okay, let it load. Okay, I think there's a problem with the floor here. It's into the model. Cuts the model off to fix that. You go to scene. You go to room. And just click here, which is align floor against the shaded model. And the floor will move down. And you are ready to go to render again. So we'll just we just bring this to front view and we'll tilt it just a bit and we'll render that so that looks great and render Nearly there. Looks fine. Okay, how do you pause here? Let's pause it. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, there you go, there you have it. That's your bottle there. That's rendered and produced in a couple minutes. So there you go, hope you enjoy. Uh, look at my other, my other video for the second part. That's it for today.